There is a symbolic reason for Wazazat, as the Moroccan government is building the biggest solar power plant in the world, in Wazazat, and this is what we want to support and to promote. And there is also a technical reason. Uh, we have to remember that in 2014 we plan to fly around the world, and this is the last mission to train, to train the mission team on the ground and to train the pilots. Okay guys, uh, the uh, ground crew is ready. Rabat, the hotel in the Alpha will be ready for departure for the uh, time display. Okay, go. going. Wazazat is an excellent opportunity to train because it's a very difficult airport. It's a very challenging uh, trip to go there because of the high mountains, the heat, turbulence, thunderstorms, headwinds. And that's exactly what we experienced during the last flight. From uh, Casablanca to Marrakech, I suddenly faced much stronger headwinds than what we had expected. I think winds which were accelerated by the Atlas uh, mountain chain there. Uh, and suddenly the airplane started to slow down, to stop, and I even started to fly backwards. It was an incredible feeling. André Raymond, we suggest you continue to climb because uh, we think uh, that's the best solution uh, also to go back to Rabat. We are planning uh, the return because we think it's hopeless to continue. That's what we experienced during one hour, and then we decided to apply the plan B, which was still to climb at the highest level to get the maximum energy, but to go back to Rabat and bring back the team which was already at Wazazat. So training contingency plan, and that was also one reason, in fact, what we are doing this kind of mission flights. So you see that technically the plane behaves perfectly well. Now there's the mission, the flight itself, which is a big adventure. We have a difficult goal, we have to train to reach it, we are not sure at this stage that we will really make it to Warzazat. There's a big suspense, but the challenge is what we all like in this team. And we know that the flight around the world will be very difficult, uh, that we will face situations that we cannot even imagine today. So we are extremely happy, in fact, to be in this difficult environment so that we can experience this situation, train the pilot, but also train all the decision-making which has to be taken on the ground by the mission team itself. And we will continue trying to go to Warzazat, either succeeding or maybe experiencing other situations which will further train the mission team. But we have one uh, limit, which is uh, June 25th, and if at June 25th we did not reach Warzazat, then we'll decide to go back because we need to be back in Payern by the end of July latest. <laughs>